pop open. Um, actually, I'm going to pop open these two down here. Hopefully you guys can see that. There is a small little plastic cutout there. And I'm going to pull this one down for this one as well. And maybe you can see this a little better now. See that I open these up. So I can actually break these off now, I'm assuming. Because I don't need the residual just hanging out. Or just fold them down, I guess. Make it ghetto. Well, I can just wiggle them off. They still break. It's just plastic anyway. So, this allows you to run the wires through these holes so you can put your back cover on. And, uh, kind of important for mounting and everything. Come on. And then, uh, it's got the mount, two mounting screws there. Um, I got some, it comes with a packet of little screws and it comes with a little uh, terminal connector here it seems a bit big for the ground wire though for whatever reason that is not quite sure the reason for that but whatever uh, normally most of these devices don't give you anything with them um, and then you got to go scrounge around for parts and then you know they say oh quick simple easy install yeah if you supplied every part that that's needed yeah that'd be great but no <laughs> so i gotta scrounge around the tiny house these lugs that i found so far will work i just gotta get some wire um and mess around with that so not too shabby i think actually i know i will be grounding this on the ground coming off of the wind turbine because the wind turbine is grounded to the earth outside so that will be my proper ground and uh, I think we'll be fine with that that's gonna work so good stuff so I will return and uh, yeah I'll let you know how I make out see ya on the next come back so, what I've been working on, guys, I've been talking in my last video about this um, smart battery isolator recommended to me by Graham. And I've been just putting it together. I got the connector on the ground wire. I made up some connections. I actually found two of these off of an old uh, solar switch, which is sweet. So all I had to do was add these two terminals on the end tape them on, crimp them, tape them, and they will work. So the the terminals um, are the new ones I just put on these ends here. They're a little bit smaller diameter and that's perfect because that's what's going to fit on top of those connections there. So that's the plan. Um, I'm going to turn my lights on, LEDs, because it's friggin' getting dark in here, man. Whoops. There we go. And I'm still watching um, some stuff on the uh, on uh, YouTube here, basically. Not, I'm not, I don't have internet. How do I have YouTube here? Anybody, anybody? You can download YouTube videos. It's simple. I've already, I put a video up about how to do that a long time ago, so you guys can go look at that. Just search my main channel page for that if you want to see that. But anyways, um, yeah, it's starting to warm up in here. We're at 16.4 um, Celsius or 60.9 Fahrenheit. It is 36.9 Fahrenheit outside. And it is a hell of a lot colder than that because we have wind chill and it is damp and been rainy and really sucky. And it's actually quarter to three at the moment. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go back to the uh, solar area. I'm probably going to have to shut off my MPPT back there and in order to make the connections and stuff 
But what I'm going to do is connect everything to this first, which only makes sense. I'm not worried about where this is going to be mounted. I just want it hooked up. I can mount it later. Not a big concern for me at this point. Just want to run my wires through these little channels that I had to bust open and make here and uh, get those connected. And then I'll get back to you guys. So see you guys right, in a bit. Guys, this is what I got so far. I got the ground wire here, this little dinky black wire. The rest are positive wires. Um, the long one is my secondary battery. That's how I differentiate. And this guy's going to be on the turbine, wind turbine. And uh, yeah, we're going to go from there. So uh, I got to figure out how to do this because on my rig setup back there, hmm, I got different terminal sizes and all kinds of stuff going on. So it's going to be nightmarish at best. Ho hopefully not too bad. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So anyways... I'm going to get doing that, and uh, I may film it, but I most likely I'll film it after it's complete because it's just, it's, it's a horrible space to film in, the lighting's crap, it's just bad, so just wait till it's done and we'll see if it works. Okay guys, back again, shut the propane off, shut the pilot off, stove is taken over, wood stove. 68 Fahrenheit inside or 19.4 Celsius, 36.8 out. Um, down to 12.6 on the solar and been work busting my butt to find piece together crap for this new isolator. And I don't think I'm going to mount it. I'm just going to leave it like that. So this mass here, I, I found, I had to dig through my scrap to get this to work so I put an aluminum bar on and then I had to find a bunch of washers and nuts it looks like hell it sparked when I hooked up the isolator now first things first I gotta tape this up that's the negative I still gotta turn the solar back on for here I wired in the volt switch again but uh, I'm gonna grab some tape tape this up and then what we're gonna do is flip it everything on and see if it works here goes nothing guys I'm gonna flip this on we have juice I'm gonna flip this on my voltmeter we're sitting at 12 2 okay and I'm gonna shut the load off because we don't have that anymore now I gotta check my MPPT because I think it's it pre it's preset to uh, let me go down to parameters shit wrong one um, control parameters sealed bat 33 amp hour back up to monitoring okay I gotta turn the power back on switch is here switch is here done I'll clean up all this mess later um, solar's coming in just now um, isolator is hooked up this is all connected the turbine is switched on and hopefully all is good um, so when the turbine spools up, I'm probably going to have to reset it just a second because normally when you do some electrical work on the turbine, you got to flip it into the middle position then flip it back. It'll reset the PWM up there or whatever control is up in the turbine. So now when this battery is full, it's going to dump excess power into this one, which will trigger all this stuff to come on and charge my battery packs, my lights, everything. So it's kind of like a dump load. It's a dual purpose dump load. So it dumps power into this battery to recharge it when the sun goes down, because this one's only on solar. And then that allows me to run all this stuff. 
and that way that's a pretty good dump load uh, pretty not not too bad of a setup because then this guy they're both topped off basically and can't really beat that so that's on everything's on up here charging away um, we'll find out tonight when it gets windy again so I'll give you an update when that happens guys but for now um, we're gonna be losing dark uh, sunlight here shortly it's four o'clock um, with the girls up there it's still pretty light out actually I might get away with five o'clock even tonight so that was a hell of a challenge doing that on a budget look at the crap I had to dig through some of the crap parts and stuff that I've saved to get this done so super super annoying kind of stuff guys I, I tell you what so I don't know <laughs> pretty wild so I'll give you an update when I know more about that <laughs> 